Hi guys, just staying hydrated. I drink like four or five of these a day and I just love water. I, that's all I drink all day. Anyway, so I was about to start getting ready for the day. I have some things to do. Um, I was just messaging someone on Facebook Marketplace, this lady that was selling some frames for the gallery wall that I am planning on building in the, on the wall behind you. Um, so she was selling like four or five picture frames, very nice, for $7, what a steal. Uh, but I guess I am not getting them now because I was messaging with her for a while. I asked her, hey, okay, I, I will meet you by this time. Send me the address. She didn't. Um, I asked again politely. I wasn't rude or anything. And she didn't. And then she just blocked me out of nowhere. So canceled. Blocked. Uh, I just feel that that's kind of like weird. You know what I mean? I, I feel like... Like someone stabbed me in the chest uh, but anyway so now I have to look for another option um, for those frames that she was going to uh, sell me so I am planning on going to Goodwill um, later today and see what I can find for a good price because as I said those other frames were seven dollars for four or five of them in different sizes so uh, it's gonna be my first time in Goodwill so I don't know what to expect so yeah I want to start getting ready but before that I have all those boxes with uh, beauty products that I want to show you and talk about and obviously uh, do my makeup uh, with you so let me just get them all right so here I have the first box so uh, when you go on Sephora and you spend a certain amount of money you get samples so I think that samples are an excellent way for you to discover new products. Like initially I get samples and then I end up buying the products. So the product that I have here is this YSL primer. So it's supposed to fill in your pores, like get rid of the pore kind of um, aspect, if you know what I mean. And I wanted to try this for years like i remember back in the day 2015-16 uh, watching my favorite makeup youtubers they were all using this and uh of course i wasn't living here in the us and it, this was a little hard to find so this is the mini size of the this is in french i won't even try to pronounce this but it's basically the ysl primer it has a little bit of shimmer gold shimmer inside and this is the applicator i wonder if the full the full size the bigger size has a pump or has something like this as well so i'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of it um a blurring primer or makeup primer is not something new to me it's definitely not something that i use every day uh, maybe for pictures will be great but not for the everyday i feel that that's like too much and it clogs your pores uh but this is nice it feels nice so just let me um, get this on my skin uh, by the way what I have on my skin right now is moisturizer I have niacinamide uh, the Merit Beauty one and I have sunscreen as well first impressions it smells good it doesn't feel too heavy it doesn't feel like too greasy it feels nice it doesn't feel like it has too much silicone dimethicone because it has like that kind of feeling um if you have tried the benefit the poor benefit i think that i think that's the name that's the one i was using like a long time ago um that one has a drier feeling this one a little bit more moisturizing i will say but it feels nice all right so the next product that i want to show you and talk about is a product that I got again as a sample and I am talking about the forever uh, skin glow or um, yeah the forever foundation from Dior so you get this you get different shades different samples but I am not going to use this ones because I actually have the same product this is the Dior skin glow in two shades so I went to Sephora and I got two samples because I was determined to buy the full-size bottle but at that time 
I was too tan. I didn't have my, my right skin tone and I, and I knew that after my tan fading out, I will have a different shade and then the bottle wouldn't work for me. So I got the shades, oh my God, I just mixed them. So A is 2W and B is 2WO or zero. Uh, so the one that works for me right now is the 2W, so that's what I'm going to be using today and for that I'm going to get this little spatula, makeup spatula and just give it a mix and apply it on my skin. Okay, I have used this little, a little bit of this sample uh, a couple of times, love the formula, really really good. Uh, I, I think I've told you this before guys that when it comes to foundation or a base product I always look for something natural something that is going to allow me to see my skin my imperfections and everything and this one is just everything I was looking for uh, when it comes to glowy products especially foundations I am a little scared because uh, those kind of products usually you get a little bit oily eventually because they're glowy products uh, but with this one I don't and I really really like it so I'm going to be using my Merit Beauty uh, foundation and it's just like so soft and it works perfectly for this and I'm kind of being rough on my skin right now I am running a little late I have to do some things the brush the product the foundation itself like allows me to do this and be this fast or this rough with my skin or applying my makeup so you don't need a lot of it i feel that the um the shade works perfectly for me and um yeah i think i'm just going to pull the trigger and get the big bottle in this shade 2w so this is what i mean look at my skin you can still still see my freckles you can see my imperfections but it just evens evens out my skin tone if you know what i mean because i have some hyperpigmentation around my uh my mouth my lips um some discoloration some redness as well so this is just perfect i love it none of this is a sponsor by the way I bought all this with my own money and these are my opinions. All right, so I want to move on and I want to continue with the next step in my makeup routine, which is concealer. So this is not a surprise. I got the same thing that I always get, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade 2.3, 2.3 in the shade Madeline this the formula of this product is great uh sometimes when i don't want to use foundation this is all i wear and i just uh, spot conceal another concealer that i'm kind of i have my eye on i'm kind of interested in is the um the makeup of mario uh concealer it has a natural finish as well so that will be great to have you know all right so now i want to fill in my brows a little bit with the anastasia beverly hills uh, brow whiz in the color dark brown i've talked about this before i love it it's great it matches kind of the color of my brows which is like really dark it's just like black hair uh, this one is perfect so the next step will be setting my face and for that i have this setting powder this is new one this is the laura laura mercier um translucent loose setting powder ultra blur that's a very long name and this is a new, kind of newish product i have been using the other one the one with the black lid the, the dark lid for years and i swear by this this product is amazing i love this because it's one of those few setting powders that when you take a picture with flash at night it doesn't give you that ghost kind of white face that you see sometimes in red carpets with celebrities you can just google it so this one is just like i trust this with my heart so i've been using this for years and when i saw the release of this one with a new formula and i was like that caught my attention so this one doesn't have talk which if you're familiar with the term talk 
or makeup in general, you probably already know that talc is in a lot of powder products, eyeshadows, blushes, setting powders, and it's not a good ingredient to be honest because in order to get talc you have to get asbestos like it's really hard to get talc without the asbestos when you're like looking for it and asbestos gives you cancer <laughs> so yeah you gotta be careful with that so when i saw that this one uh, has a new formula without talc i was like yeah that was the selling point for me i don't know if the formula is gonna be a little bit different oh i already opened the little thing i removed the plastic i wanted to try it and but i haven't applied it so let me find my brush and let's give it a try i always get the small size because i like to uh keep it in my purse and the big one is just like way too bulky but of course I would like to get the big one because I love this and I use it so much. So what I do is that I usually apply it on my T-zone, which is my problematic area, um, very oily. But my cheeks, for example, are kind of dry. And of course, I have to set my concealer and yeah, that's it. Okay, first impressions. Doesn't smell like anything. Let me touch my face. It doesn't have like a blurring effect. I feel that it feels like this one, the regular one, um, but it doesn't have talk. So as I said, that's the selling point for me. I don't need anything else. I have to do the flash test and see if it works because if it gives me that light uh, or that ghost face, yeah, that's gonna be a no. So we will see and I will update you with that, but I love Laura Mercier products. All right, so I want to continue now with um, what was my birthday gift from Sephora. You can pick your birthday gift two weeks prior or two weeks after your birthday, not before, I didn't know that. So uh, this time I chose the one from Ilia, this little set. So you get the mascara, which I've been like really interested in and the multi-stick in the color at last that's the name and the mascara is black so let's try the multi-stick um, i assume that when they say multi-stick is because you can use it as a blush maybe a shadow maybe as a lipstick as well something similar as the married beauty product that i have used that way as well and i love so when i saw this i was like okay let's give this a try because this is another clean um, brand on sephora so let's apply a little bit okay it has like this mauve color i kind of like it all right so this is the result with the blush the light is coming through that window so i am against the light that's why it looks maybe like a little bit patchy but it's not it's actually very nice i kind of want to show you what it looks like so let me show you right here. It feels very balmy, if that makes sense. So let's say like you are using chapstick on your skin like that, but obviously with color and less, like a little bit thicker, I will say. It blends well, it is nice. I like it. I will have to try it on the lips. Not right now because I'm wearing another lipstick, but I, I will say that if I will get this full size, uh, I will mainly use it for my cheeks. This will be great for a no makeup day or something really soft. Will be really, really nice. I will try the mascara a little later because I need to do something else on my eyes. All right, for my eyes, I have shown you this before. I have done this before. I am going to be using this Charlotte Tilbury uh, Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is the mini size. I love this product. You can use it for contouring, for bronzing, and for a nice shadow as well. I use it for all of them. I am going to be using this uh, brush. This is a MAC 217. Just grab a little and just apply it all over my crease 
in my eyelid as well now i want to show you another product that i was very excited about getting and i have been using this brand for years now different like many different products and i am talking about urban decay this is the 24 7 glide on eye pencil and i got it in the shade um whiskey which is some um, kind of medium brown and it's just so nice uh the formula is not new to me i already have this product in the shade perversion which is basically just a black eye pencil the reason why i went back to this instead of another brand because i was looking for, for the perfect brown shade is because i love it so it is creamy it's gonna stay put on your eyes whether you go on your um eyelid waterline inside or outside underneath of your eyelashes it works well once you apply it it is creamy enough that you can just blend it and if you want to set it you can just apply some eyeshadow or um, just apply it and leave it like that so it's like very uh, versatile it gives you a lot of options and i love it so let me show you what it looks like very creamy it glides on like so nice and if you want to blend it you can just do this and it's so nice you can just set it with eyeshadow as well all right and to blend it i am going to be using this little brush this kind of angled brush and uh just blend everything because i don't like something too harsh and maybe extend it a little bit more all right so this is the end result with the eye pencil nothing crazy nothing too perfect nothing too divine i just like something easy i like to to blend it really fast and um this is just great so uh if you want something a little bit softer less harsh than a black eyeliner i truly recommend you go for brown uh that's what i have been doing uh now for a while i am gravitating more towards natural makeup so before using this kind of product this kind of formula like a creamy formula like this i was using eyeshadow i think i've shown you uh that before and the one that i was using uh was this one in the um, this brown in the Natasha Denona Mini Glam Palette, it is nice. I love to do this really quick as well. And the other option, if you prefer something a little bit more precise, you don't want to blend, you don't need to have a brush, and if you want something something really, really quick, I recommend this one, uh, which is a brown eyeliner. This one is a little bit wet. It is from Benefit. This is the Roller Liner Eyeliner. Um, and it is really nice as well. So you have three different options, formulas to do your cat eye situation if you want to. Um, and I am in love with this one because I love how versatile it is. So now is the time for this Ilia Mascara to shine. Let's see what this looks like. This is a small tube. Okay, so when it comes to a mascara, the first thing that I look for is a good brush in a long one and also that is easy to remove at night so this is a clean brand uh, on sephora and let's just give this a try it looks like the brush is a little bit hard it's like plasticky if you know what i mean so i have made a lot of mistakes with this kind of brushes before because i poked my eye that's just me just trying to do it fast. So, ooh, with one coat, it separates your eyelashes really nicely. Okay, first impressions of the mascara. I didn't curl my eyelashes, I just went for one coat. It felt that it separated my eyelashes nicely. I like it. I got enough pigment or enough product on my eyelashes. I like it so far, I like it. But what is going to determine for me if I will buy this in a full size is if it removes easily at nighttime. Because uh, when I'm removing my makeup, I am just looking for something that I can remove easily and fast. Okay, so we're done with that box of makeup that ordered from Sephora. And another product that I have here and I wanted to include in the kind of makeup category is this exfoliator for your lips. It is 
an exfoliator slash applicator. So let me just show you because this is something uh, that I needed and I didn't even know that it was something on Sephora and I was just using my toothbrush to exfoliate my lips. Sometimes it was a little too harsh. Um, but yeah, so this is the product, if I can even get it out. So it is a silicone tip or end. You have some little dots here. I'll, here in the back you have something um, more like, how do you call that, like bristles, like a little brush. Again, silicone and the applicator here, very, very soft. For my lips, I'm going to apply a little bit of chapstick really fast really easy and then i am going to apply um lip liner so my favorite lip liners are these ones uh these two from charlotte tilbury so here i have iconic nude which is kind of a brown shade beautiful and matches my skin tone and here i have pillow talk the classic pillow talk the regular one sometimes i feel that this one is too pink for me i also have the lipstick uh but i have been gravitating more towards like brownish shades so i am going to apply iconic nude on me i love the formula it is soft it is creamy it's just perfect and the next step is lipstick so the perfect combo for me my favorite combo right now is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nudes shade and the Merit Beauty lipstick, which has a great formula in the shade Slip. It is creamy, it is very nice, and I am actually really sad because I broke this, um, just like closing it like really fast when I was like um, partying in Colombia. I'm not proud of that. I'm actually really sad, and I have to get a new one just because of that. But as you can see, you don't need too much and it has a very nice finish. Great formula, it is comparable on the lips, it doesn't feel like too matte. Okay, we fixed the hair a little bit because now I want to show you something really nice. Um, it is still um, beauty but from another brand. So I am talking about Dior, Dior Beauty, which I love, I always get and I feel that they have great packaging uh, and I just love the luxury experience of opening everything this is the small box the gift the small gift box and it has this little thing right here I want to start with mascara this is the Dior show mascara in the black color I have purchased this now um, many times already uh, I love the formula, I love the brush, it is thick, I love the long one, and it removes easily at night, which is one of the things that I look for every time I buy a mascara. It's really, really nice, and yeah, I don't have a lot of things to say about this other than I love it. I got it in the shade black, but I also think that they have a brown one. All right, so that's that with the mascara. I have another product uh, you're probably uh, wondering what I have on my lips in, in my lips my nails and it is this uh beautiful nail polish in the shade 999 that is the classic red shade from um dior this is the packaging this is plastic this is glass you remove the lid and then you get the nail polish i have been using this and i love it i just wanted to include it in this beauty haul uh, just because it is something that uh, I've been using a lot. It is actually what I have on my nails right now. It's just a regular nail polish. It is going to chip eventually as any other nail polish. Uh, you just have to um, touch up the, the corners, the ends, which is basically what I have to do right now. I just have to uh, do my nails again. I do them every week and I just use regular nail polish. I can't like I wouldn't be able to use, uh, what what do they call Russian manicure, shellac, gel, those kind of things. I don't even know what's the difference uh, because I can deal with the growth. My nails grow like crazy. So every week I have to remove everything and repaint them. And I usually go for a nude color and when it comes to adding a pop of color, I like to go for a classic red. And, this is just a classic red from Dior. I love it. And speaking of the shade 999, um, Dior also has the lipstick. So if you watch my vlog, my birthday uh, vlog, 
I was using this shade of lipstick. This is the velvet finish, super nice. It is definitely a warm color. This one has a little bit of engraving because it was a special collection. Uh, but I love the formula. It is comfortable on the lips, not too matte, not too creamy. Obviously, if you drink something, you're going to have a little bit of transfer, but overall, I love it. I will give it a 10 out of 10, and I'm just being honest. Um, so if you have a skin tone similar to mine, if you're more on the warmer skin tone, I would recommend you go for this. If you uh, have a cooler skin tone, I would recommend, the formula is not similar, it's not slightly different, but the Fenty Stuna Lip, the red lipstick, I am recommending this because I, that's the red lipstick that I had before getting this one. And I, it just felt a little bit off on me because I am more on the warm tone. But if you have pale skin or something, that's just perfect for you. The other product that I have here from Dior is Modifying Papers. Modifying Papers is just something that I have always kept in my purse. Uh, different brands, something like nothing special, but when I saw this one on their website, I fell in love with it because it is nice, it is special. So it has a cushiony kind of velvety finish. It has an elastic here on the back, so you open it like this show you and then you have the modifying papers you have a beautiful mirror there you are you can put the papers here but let me show you what the papers actually look like so i think you get like a hundred of them it is just like a sheet um of paper like something really thin and i have one here already i just took it out and I just did my makeup, but I use this mainly um, after many hours of having my, make having my makeup on, after applying uh, sunscreen and everything, especially in my T-zone, I get very, very oily. So you just do this, you just press on this onto your skin and it removes the excess oil or grease. And uh, I do this before reapplying uh, some setting powder. Or if you just don't want to use it as, um, as mattifying papers, so you can just use it as a beautiful mirror to have in your purse. And speaking of that, a pocket mirror, I ended up getting this one from Dior. This one, um, I got it through a coat that I was able to put there. Um, if you spend $175, uh, so this one is the one I got. If that offer, that code is still available, I will put it somewhere on the screen. If not, it is a shame, but I still wanted to show you this. So I have the pattern that I have in my Lady Dior bag. That's why I got this, I fell in love with it. It is black, you have some silver branding. In the back, it's just plastic. But once you open it, you get two mirrors nothing special in the inside just two regular mirrors uh both of them are the same size regular it's not like the other ones that are like magnifying and regular or vice versa this one is just regular but i mainly got it because this one is just like so nice and i always keep it in my lady dior bag last but not least i have this little sample that i got in this cute dust bag that is so helpful and uh, for example in my last trip in Colombia I just uh, kept my little GoPro camera in this little dust bag and it protected it like perfectly. Alright so uh, what's in here is the Gris Dior uh, perfume. Uh, Gris it's grey in French if I'm not wrong um, or Gris if you want to pronounce it in Spanish it's spelled the same way so this is a unisex um perfume or fragrance because um yeah perfume cologne let's just say scent fragrance and it smells delicious delicious not too sweet a man can use this it is perfect and uh, this little bottle is just like so convenient. This was also a sample and I can see myself buying this full size. I already got the, um, what's the name? I forgot, Eden Rock by Dior as well. And I received so many compliments with that fragrance and um, I just love it, it lasts forever. So anyway, 
I'm just my point is that I love Dior fragrances and I always try to get these little samples uh, to keep in my purse and see if I like a fragrance uh, before buying it full size. Okay guys, so I have more products here from different brands that I forgot to show you. I almost forgot. So here I have another nail polish. This one is from the brand OPI or OP, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it is in the shade, it is called Got the Blues for Red. It is regular nail polish, but I think they also have uh, these available in gel formula. Uh, this one is great. I just got it and when I went to put it in my makeup, not makeup, uh, but um, you know where I keep all my nail polishes, polish? Um, I went to put it there and I noticed that I already had it. So this one is kind of a cherry deep red, kind of blood red. I love it. Now that we're moving more towards fall and winter, I like to go for a deeper shade of red. I still like the pop of color. And for the summer, this one is my favorite, the one from Dior, which is a little bit brighter. Formula is great. I have been using this brand for years. My nude colors, whatever you see on my nails, it is from this brand. Another brand that I love is Essie. Really good shades, good price, same as this one. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, continue. So last time I went to Colombia and when I was leaving the island, I stopped at the perfume area and I couldn't help myself and I was like looking at prices obviously in Colombian pesos and I found a really good deal I mean everything individually and I got these two so uh, let's start with this one so I got this uh, perfume from Hermes and uh, this is the ginger one it smells amazing um, to be honest I got this I went back to Pennsylvania to Pittsburgh because we were gonna move I just put it away uh, I got this thinking that I was going to wear it for spring and summer, summer fragrances. And I just put it in a closet and I completely forgot about them. So they are brand new. So as you can see, it has the little twilly. It has a little, can't remember the name of this thing, diffuser, spray. I don't know what's going on. I have a lot of things in my mind right now. But it is really nice. It smells amazing, not too sweet. You can still, uh, you can smell the ginger in there. It's very, very nice. I love it. And the other one that I got is this one. This is in French. I am not even going to try to pronounce it. I can't, I can't. I won't embarrass myself like that. So I, again, I got this one uh, thinking that it was going to be something a little bit uh, softer, lighter for uh, spring and summer. Uh, and this is it beautiful bottle beautiful packaging for both of them the boxes as well and as I said I got a great deal in Colombian pesos and when I uh, converted everything to um, dollars I got like these two for over a little a hundred dollars when each one of them are like over a hundred dollars so that was a really good deal next time I go to Colombia I am bringing more because after being on the plane, I, I was like, why didn't I buy more? Like, I love perfumes and everything. You know what? I was thinking like, why am I not applying it? I am going to. So I am going for the lighter one. And let's see what the mist looks like. Hmm, I almost spread it in my eyes. That was a big mistake. Okay. Don't rub your perfume, your fragrance. Don't do that because then you're getting rid of the alcohol, the scent and everything. Just apply it, leave it there and just apply it in the key points where you have a pulse. So it will be here, here, uh, maybe on your chest, um, maybe um, I do this, I apply it behind my knees. Weird, maybe, and I apply it on my hair as well. So that was enough, let's give it amazing I'm in love with it I'm so glad I bought this it is light it's not too sweet it's not too strong it is perfect for summer here the summers are ex like extremely hot so I don't like like something too obnoxious uh, but this one is great next time I go to Colombia I am buying a whole box of them if I can 
because you can find the best deals over there or maybe I can just buy them here in the US it doesn't really matter uh, by the way I got this in the duty free I, I think I forgot to mention that duty free that's why I got a good deal over there okay guys so that's it I am going to uh, put on my shoes grab my purse and go to Goodwill because I have some pre some frames to pick for my gallery wall um, after this lady from Facebook Marketplace just let me down. Um, yeah, I wasn't rude to her. Do you think she was in the wrong for blocking me? I, that was kind of rude, I think. Uh, so anyway, I'll see you later. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you today's outfit. It is time to leave because I am running a little bit late. So it is over 90 something degrees right now. I can't wait until it starts cooling down. And it is October already, like it is that hot in here all right so i am wearing my celine sunglasses the brown ones i am wearing this h&m dress that i got like one or two years ago i can't remember it's sage green dress so beautiful it is linen and it's just so comfortable i love it i also have the white sneakers by adidas and the white bag by coach different setting um you are in my closet well my husband's in my closet as well he only has like that little corner right there and the rest is mine um are you the same way i feel like i'm not being fair but he doesn't he's not crazy for clothes let me know if your partners are the same way because i just feel like i am being bad you know what i mean but I just have a lot of stuff and that's exactly what we're doing today. We are clearing out my closet. I am getting rid of some stuff, dividing everything. Um, a pile for donations, a pile for stuff that I might sell. I am going to go through some stuff. Not everything is in here because I have been filming some fashion videos. So um, here is a part, but the rest is in my office where I have the clothing rack and everything so let's do this together let me put you in a more comfortable place on the tripod so it's just a little easier for me to do this with you all right so i want to start by saying that what i'm looking for uh doing here today is just prioritizing what i wear the most so here i have pieces since i started my youtube video my youtube videos making youtube videos um uh, two years uh, but i have all their pieces like five years or even more so uh it is time to get rid of some i have been prioritizing materials quality over quantity that's exactly what we're doing today so if i feel that i haven't worn something for uh, one season or maybe two I am getting rid of those uh, maybe six months my body has changed I have some uh, extra pounds on me I am not mad about it because uh, this is a totally different topic growing up I was always like oh I'm so skinny people made fun of me in high school and stuff now that I have a little bit more like curves I will say uh, my body has changed so some pants don't fit anymore I have to uh, replace those and get rid of the ones that I have so I want to say that uh, if you see wrinkles don't get too crazy about it it's because uh, I moved here the clothes are clean it's just that when moving I put everything in garbage bags just because it was easier instead of uh, boxes or keeping everything in hangers um, uh, but everything is clean and I just haven't like imagine having to steam or iron this whole thing I just do it like if I'm gonna wear it I steam it 
So anyway, I want to start by a little pile that I have here. Uh, I have something selected here. Pieces that I don't wear anymore and they are in good condition. I might be selling on Poshmark, maybe Depop, that's another um, place. I have bought items from both places but I've never sold anything. So I don't know what the process is like. If you have sold stuff there, let me know. I have leather pieces that I am very sad to let go of especially during this time because fall and winter is when I wear my leather pieces and I have this beautiful uh, pencil skirt oh no yeah pencil skirt from Aretzia this is basically brand new the reason why I'm not wearing this and why I'm trying to get rid of it's because uh, as I mentioned, I have uh, some pounds on me, extra pounds on me. Um, so I don't like this kind of leather stuff too tight. Unless they are like skinny pants or something, something like that. But when it comes to this, I like something fitted but not extremely, extremely fitted. Because uh, then it doesn't look elegant anymore. And it starts to look a little vulgar, in my opinion. Another uh, leather item, well, fall leather item, are these beautiful pants by Sara in this beautiful brown color. These are more like the skinny type of stuff. I love this. Um, now I prefer something a little bit more loose, a little bit more comfortable. Uh, and they don't fit anymore. They are a little bit too tight um, Here on the waist the same for my bum. The next item is this beautiful skirt that I wore so much during the spring and summer Even you can wear this in the fall as well uh, This was part of my styling videos my first styling videos here on YouTube. It is silk. It is pink It is from Lily Silk in the size extra small this it is in very good condition i took care of it it is wrinkled again because i put everything in garbage bags uh but obviously uh before selling it i will wash everything and steam everything but it is a wrap skirt silk very beautiful it's not on their website anymore which pains me a little bit because i will like to get this in a bigger size it's not so i'm sad to let this go right, so here we have knitwear as i said some of the sweaters that I have are in the other room, uh, but here I have some that I might want to get rid of. So uh, this is a turtleneck from H&M, really beautiful. I think I will keep these. These are like classic. Maybe this one I will get rid of because it is a turtleneck and it is maybe a little bit uncomfortable to wear. So I am not wearing, I, I don't go... For this one as much as I would like to so that's a sign for me that I would like to get rid of it and in this corner I have obviously my lady your bag she's on a pedestal she steals the show she deserves her moment so she's a stain obviously I have my Teddy Blake bag in the uh, light beige color I love it I am keeping this I love the top handle the crossbody I am thinking about getting rid of this coach bag it fits a lot it has a um, I think like a nice design uh, the material is nice and easy to clean I just want something a little bit different again top handle crossbody bag I have my tabby bag top handle I am keeping this when uh, it comes to um, black bag and I want something casual I go for this one something a little bit dressier I go for the lady your bag and that's the whole point and that takes me to this last one this one is from Michael Kors it is a crossbody bag it has this beautiful gold chain it has minimal branding here Michael Kors you press this and you open the bag it is lambskin I got this like four or five years ago uh, in Alaska I barely wore this and I think of the reason is because it doesn't have a top handle and it is a night bag, in my opinion, uh, just because of the gold chain. Uh, so I am trying to get rid of this one. I'm still trying to figure out if I am going to donate this or sell it. I think that this is a great option if you're looking for a medium range type of luxury bag or your first bag. It has that cushiony effect. It has the same kind of leather, lambskin, that... Uh, the Lady Dior has. I assume that 
it has a better quality but both of them are lambskin so this one is really nice it has a division here in the middle and it has uh, a pocket a magnetic pocket here in the back so I'm thinking about getting rid of that one I don't need three black bags I always wear these two not that one so that's why I'm getting rid of it I recently got this one from um, mango I was looking for something with a top handle crossbody and I saw this one and after I got it I noticed that it was kind of a dupe for the Celine bag that looks just like this one go to mango they have great belts great bags for a good and affordable price that one that you see back there is a crossbody bag also from mango that i'm thinking of giving to my mom or maybe selling it as well all right and here i have this um tabby bag again from coach a little bit bigger this was my first tabby bag and I got it uh, when I went to San Francisco here in California and it was my birthday gift. I don't go for this one as often as I would like to. It has this beautiful warm beige. Uh, it also has a top handle, removable and a crossbody as well. I am a big fan of Coach as you can see. Uh, this one I got it like three years ago. Uh, it is this beautiful kind of work bag. I like it but I am not wearing it. I am selling this or donating it maybe as well and it has a crossbody strap which is very convenient if you have to do some walking. At the bottom I have my Etsy clutch for summer, my Colombian bag traditional by the Wajoo people and I have my basket for summer. I am keeping these three and these are bags for summer as well. I'm keeping them and I have shoes here so these are some boots that I got like three years ago from um, Express uh, they are suede but I am not going for these anymore because I already have my uh, Larry Day boots leather boots and I go for those ones I love them so much so uh, leather is easier to clean than suede that's why I'm getting rid of them they have like this beautiful slit here in the front they're very small as well so they're like a six um, US six and here I have these ankle boots from Zara they are beautiful block heel um, almond toe or maybe square toe very beautiful they are in great condition i wore them but i don't go for ankle boots anymore or the thick heel i prefer an estiletto heel that's why i got these ones uh, with an estiletto heel and a pointed toe this is more me but i don't go again for uh, ankle boots and here i have timberland boots i got them in um very last minute trip that i had in alaska and I ended up getting them like three sizes bigger <laughs> just because it was what they had available and they were about to close the mall with salmon color and they are beautiful they are in great condition the only thing is that they have like this dark part here just because I wore them with uh, dark denim jeans so that's why they go a little bit stained but they are in great condition the size is 7.5 I think Okay, so here I have a bag, a garbage bag full of stuff for donation. Well, it is marked as donations, but uh, I have some items here that I can sell, classic items, items that I have shown you in my hauls, my styling videos as well. So let's go through some of the stuff that I have here. All right, so for the first item, I have these pants, the classic Sarah pants kind of detailed at the very top these are the um, the cream ones the ivory ones i love them i just uh, think that they are very small right now i got them in the size extra small so now i am more like a size medium the other item is this one these pants in the shade in the color ivory cream but they are belted really really nice i think that they are great pants they just fit a little bit weird on me um, around the crotch area so i wasn't gravitating towards these ones in so much and i ended up getting them in the size extra small and i actually got the set so now i will be a size medium i will say for them to fit better i have the ooh, <laughs> 
the blazer, the matching blazer. This one, I got it in the size is small. It is very, very fitted. It, it's, it has this beautiful clean look. So if I, I feel that if I sell these pants, I can sell it as a suit, like, like a combo. All right, guys, so it is time to end this portion of this video or maybe the whole vlog here because we have been spending a lot of time here in this closet and I am ready to leave this room. I am roasting. So I will let you know over on my Instagram stories on maybe another vlog uh, when I have everything figured out whether I am using Depop or Poshmark to sell some of my stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!